Hi everyone, and welcome back. This is my new toy. This is the Tascam Model 12 Digital Mixer Audio Interface Built-in SD Recorder and Limited Doe Surface Controller as well. Now, even though this mixer is a really great digital mixer and audio interface, all-in-one, four or five-in-one unit, um, there are a few issues with the audio routing. And I hope you are here today for a solution for one of those problems. The problem is that if you have a microphone connected so that you can record your vocals or your guitar or anything else that has a microphone input, and of course you would have your monitors turned on, and if you want to listen to it, you raise the main level up, and you've got headphones connected as well, and there's two of them. But the problem is that if as soon as you turn your main uh, fader down, or even mute it with the mute button so that you don't get any feedback, audio feedback from your speakers back into your uh, microphone. Um, that means you also don't have any audio on your headphone output. This also turns down the headphones, making the headphone outputs redundant, useless. So how do you work around it? I've seen several videos demonstrating how people using the SAP output at the back of it and using a headphone amplifier to drive headphones um, and then selecting the you know sub outputs for each of the channels that you want to listen to and you can turn the main down main speakers down but uh, for me this is not the right solution or workaround for a couple of reasons one that means you have to go and spend you know buying a headphone amplifier extra cables um, and you lose the sub output at the same time, you've got two perfectly working headphone outputs here. Why not utilize them? So this solution is not about using the sub output or any additional purchases required to make it operational. Now I have to stress, this is still a workaround. The solution I still expect Tascam to come up with because this unit down from here, it's all digital. Everything is controlled software. All these knobs for EQ, compression, and everything else, the faders, they are all controlling software. Nothing uh, discrete in there. So it shouldn't be hard for, um, let's say, Tascam to be able to update the firmware so that when you mute, use the mute button for the main speaker input, it only mutes the speakers and not the headphones. Very simple solution. That's all they need to do. So this way you can mute your speakers do your recording, listen on the headphones, and then when you are ready to listen back, you unmute your speakers, obviously mute your microphone, and then you can have a listen to see what you recorded. Simple as that. Mute the speakers, unmute the microphone, and you're ready to go to record again. But until then, I hope this is the best workaround you're going to be able to find. Because I did read the manual, and I finally came up with a solution. Hence the reason why I spend money purchasing this unit, otherwise I wouldn't have. Now I know the screen you won't be able to see on the camera. And I hope that if you have this unit, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about and follow the instructions how to set it up. Because everything is going to be controlled through the screen on the two different modes of the mixer that I've come up with. Mode number one. It's a recording stage. So you've got microphones that you are recording, whether you're recording onto the SD card, on the unit itself, or in your DAW, and it makes no difference. And then the second mode is the mixing mode. This way, where you are mixing whatever has been recorded onto the SD card, multi-track, or you've got multi-tracks coming back from your DAW. So recording or tracking mode and mixing and mastering mode. Now to utilize my workaround, we're going to use the solo buttons available on each of the channels. The solo buttons itself has two modes. One is the pre-fader listen or the PFL for short. And the second mode for the solo button is in place mode. And they function differently. They route the audio differently. So I've decided in PFL mode, I'm going to name it as the recording or the tracking stage. 
and the in place mode is the mixing stage. Later on, I'm just going to quickly go through uh, in the menu and show you where it's found and how you can actually change it. Even though you won't be able to see it, I hope that if you have the unit, you be able to understand and follow the steps and change the mode of the solo buttons from PFL to in place mode and vice versa. So in PFL mode, which is our recording stage, when we press the button, that basically disconnects this channel from the main output and sends only to the headphones and we can use this PFL level, master level to adjust it and as well as our headphone. And then let's say we have our microphone on channel one and let's say we have our playback from our DAW um, on nine and 10. Or unless you've got uh, pre-recorded material on the SD card, you can use all the other channels um, in uh, MTR mode and then you'll be able to listen. But for simplicity, I'm just going to assume that my main playback of my DAW is coming on 9 and 10. So I play, place the solo button down there as well. And now I can listen to the music text coming from my um, DAW as well as my microphone. Now, because it's pre-fader level, that means these faders won't even affect it. Doesn't matter what level this one is, the volume will be the same, which is for the microphone is whatever the gain knob is and whatever the main output from your DAW level is. And now, regardless what my fader is, whether muted or unmuted, turned up or down, won't affect it. But best to mute it and turn it down so you can listen to your backing track and your microphone onto your headphones and the sound will not appear on your speakers. And once you've done all your recording and tracking, then you can switch into in-place mode. And to switch into solo in-place mode, you go into menu, then you normally see song, vamp, click, and then MTR and MIDI, and you find mixer. And you press it down, and then you scroll all the way down. It says solo mode at the moment is PFL. I know you cannot see it, but trust me, if you already have this unit, you can follow it and find out. At the moment, it says pre PFL for pre fader level. I'm going to click it, and now I'm going to select in place solo. Now, as you can see, some of the lights change because the mode changed. Let me just exit out of that. So now, every time I press um, a solo, for my microphone, now that's muted. Okay, so let's remove all the solos out. So none of the solos are pressed. I press solo. Now everything else is muted. Now the only sound that's going to my main output, remember, in place mode is for mixing. All I hear is that channel there, channel one. Hopefully that's coming from your DAW or from in there. Or if I want to listen to nine and 10, whether it's coming back from my DAW or through the SD card, and I can, uh, that's the option, that's how that solo works. So now, regardless, I don't need to use the solo buttons, but now I can actually listen to and in a normal mode and listen to it. Um, so if I want to solo, let's say my bass, and I can solo it, just listen to the bass, adjust my EQ. Yeah, I like that EQ. That's nice with compression. Yep, let's have a listen to in context. Yep, let's have a listen to my guitar. Now only my guitar on channel three is up. I can adjust uh, my EQ, yep, my effects and everything else. Yep, ready to go. And now, as you can see, that's my mixing stage. Now I'm mixing whether it's coming from uh, my SD card or uh, outputs from my DAW. I can do a mixing into my master track. I can even record it as a stereo master as well. Phew, wow. Okay, just to recap. We go into the mixer and then we select solo mode in as in PFL mode, which is by default. That's what it, it is there. And now when we press solo, of course, we can see the LED is right there as well. Solo, all it means is that what we're listening on our headphone is what's coming on our um, uh, channel. And we can turn everything else down if you wanted to. And we can also solo what's coming back from our DAW. And regardless of what the main output is, because 
you can turn it down, you can mute it, and but we can still listen to them on both headphones, however we adjust it. That's the quick recap. I hope my explanation was clear enough. And if not, and if you have any further questions, use the comment section below to uh, write your comments and I'll try my best to help you out because I do have the unit here. But for now, I found that's the best solution for me, recording uh, sort of stage and the mixing stage and just using the solo mode from PFL to in place mode to switch between either. Again, I hope Tascam will resolve this by just uh, reprogramming this mute button that only mutes the main speaker outputs and not the headphones and all of this video will be redundant. <laughs> but that's how my workaround is for now. If this was helpful, make sure you give me the thumbs up and as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, you guys.